Hello everyone, if you want to track records of your employees or fulfill any task or project effectively, then you know how important it is to maintain a work schedule in Excel. A schedule not only helps you to manage your time effectively by planning out your whole day, week or month, but also it helps you to meet deadlines and ensures that projects or assignments are completed on time. So, this is Jihad Rianji from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to make a work schedule in Excel. In our first method, we want to create a daily schedule like the schedule on the screen. At first, we'll go for the new worksheet and set the deadline as creating a daily schedule. Now, go for the today's date, 16 May 2023. Now, you can easily go for the data set of employee ID, employee name and working hour in column B, C and D. At first, you will go to the E6 cell to set the starting date, which is in this case 8 am. So, write down 8 and press enter. If you click on this cell and drag it down to the very last cell from left to right, then you will get your perfect timings of office here in the row 6. After that, you want to set the lunch break and snacks break. At first, I want to set the lunch break at 13. So I'll select the whole 13 column and go for the home tab and select merge and center in the alignment section. Then you want to also write down the lunch break here. So we'll write down lunch break in this section and press the enter button. But it doesn't look good in this rotation. So we want to rotate it down from up to down. So we'll select the whole cell and go to the home tab and select the rotation of orientation in the alignment section. If you click on it, then you'll get your rotate text up section. Click here and get your perfect result. After that, you can go for the middle alignment to make it here and bold to make it bold. You can do the same for the snakes break in the 18th cell. So if you repeat the whole process, you'll get the same snakes break in the 18th cell. So that's how you have set the breaks already. Now, if anyone is absent, then you can easily go for that. But before that, you are seeing that in working hour, you have got the times here. But here it is nil. That means he's absent here. And to show absent, you can easily go for the cells and again in the home tab select the margin center and write down the nil here so that you can easily determine whether he is in the office or not you can do the same for the rest of the section also and that's how you can easily get whether he is present in the office or not now the question occurs do you want to write an extra position of writing down any kind of note or not? If you want to write a note like user absence, then which process you want to follow? Now, select the cell where you want to show your remark. Go for the review tab and here click on the notes section to select note and click on the new note section. Now, in the user section, you can write down the proper remark you want to set which is in this case absent. If you click the enter button, then get your perfect result. Now, let's check it out whether it's working or not. If you put your mark on that, then you'll see that it is showing user absent. So yeah, it's working like we have wanted. Suppose now you want to get the working hours of the employees also. Like suppose Daniel have worked from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you want to mark it. And to do that, you can easily go for the value and select the cells where the time is 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. Go to the home tab and mark it down as another new color. You can do the same for the rest of the section and that's how you got the colors here. You can do the same for each and every section of each employees. If you fulfill the other employees, working hour with the color box then get your perfect daily schedule on the screen like this 
So that's creating a daily schedule for you. Now we want to create a weekly schedule like the schedule on the screen. We'll go to the new worksheet and we have starting time and ending time. Also the activities that we want to insert in our schedule. At first we'll go for the B6 cell and insert the time here. After that we'll go for the starting time and copy it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it in the B7 cell by using Ctrl plus V. Now drag down the cell to the very last cell to create perfect timings here. After that you'll go for the C6 cell and insert the day of Monday here. Now if you click on this cell and drag it down from left to right then you'll get your perfect days here. After pressing that you can select the whole data range by using Ctrl plus A in the keyboard and to make it a table you'll select the Ctrl plus T in the keyboard. In the create table dialog box you will take my table has headers and press OK. Now you have inserted your table. To mark the weekends you will go for the Saturday and Sunday and select the cells go for the home tab and manually color it to another color. Now you want to insert the activities in between the weekdays. At first you will go to the activities and select the cells and press Ctrl plus T and again create table tick on the my table has headers and convert it to the new table. Now go for the main cell and select the cells of weekdays and go for data tab select data validation in the data tools and here you can go for the allow section. You can select any of the value here but as we are trying to get the list so write down list as our allow section. As source you will select the values you want to insert here from K7 to K11. Press OK and now you have got your perfect drop down list. You can easily select the values as you have wished in this section. If you enter the whole schedule correctly then it will show you the weekly schedule in Eclipse. So that's weekly schedule for you. Now our target is to create monthly schedule similar to the schedule on the screen. At first we'll go to the new workbook and here we already have the year name 2023, the month name May and work distribution and work types in column B. At first we'll insert the weekdays so write down the first day of week Monday and now we'll select the cell and drag it down from left to right. So at first we have the days here. After that, we'll go for the dates. Now, insert the first day as 1 and second day as 2. Now, select both the cells and drag them down to the very left side. Then, you'll have all the dates of month May. Now, we'll move on to the work type. Now, we want to mark which type of work is in which date. So, at first, we can see that we have the field visit at the second date. So, We'll select the second date at the D10 cell and now go to the home tab and color it manually. If the work is done then you can insert a new symbol also. Like you can go for the insert tab and in the symbol section you can go for the symbol and in the symbol dialog box you can choose any of the font but here we have chosen the wing links here. And in this section, you can go for the tick section. If you click the insert option, then you will have your perfect tick sign here, which marks that you have a work in the second date and you have completed the task. And that's a good remark for you. You can do the same thing for every section manually. If you fulfill the whole month data correctly, then you will see that it will look like this. If you look at the signs then you will see that the colored but tick signs are already completed task here. But here you have also the colored but no ticks in here. That means you have that task but you have not completed it yet. So this is monthly schedule for you.
updates reminds you which type of work is scheduled in which day. So that's how you can easily utilize monthly schedule manually and get your job done. So that's it for today. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.